Hello everybody, this is Diane Gazine at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls in Fremont, California. Again, I've been doing energy work for over 25 years, truly blessed in what I do. And I'm here to teach you a lot about meditation and energy and your willpower and your belief system. Possibly question the belief system that you have open you up to a higher vibration, a different shift, different thought pattern that will probably get you closer to where you want to be. In my life, I try to work with a lot of people that have poverty consciousness because I truly believe that we don't want a lot of poverty consciousness, people living in and around us. Poverty consciousness means that you have a fear base of money, a lack of money, a thought pattern that is very difficult to create money, a possibility of knowing that money is difficult to, to make, to hold, to receive. I actually am sitting here right now wanting to let you know that that's absolutely incorrect. Money is energy and money is very simple. Money is very easy to come by. And when you shift your thoughts that shift your energy that creates a new outcome. Your poverty consciousness can actually slip away you can learn different ways and different thoughts on how to embrace energy, possibly the energy of money. So you can have abundance. You can have prosperity and you can have wealth. I believe we all want abundance and that could be abundance of, of love, of friendship, of health, it doesn't necessarily always have to be the green that's in your wallet or, or that you're lacking in your wallet. So what I'd like to do is have you for the, for the rest of the day, maybe the rest of the week, count the times where you talk about money in a negative light, where money is a negative in your voice in your speech and just witness it understand that as long as you have those thoughts that roll off your tongue so quickly and so easily that money can't truly come to you as a magnet poverty consciousness is when it's very difficult to make a nice amount of money or even people that make money that lose it or that spend it so much that at the end of the month they're still struggling. So look at your life, look at what's going on, look at your speech pattern, your belief system in money and abundance and prosperity and get ready to change it. A shift in this area can bring an amazing amount of abundance to you. So, how much money do you want to make? Just ask yourself. You may want to make a percentage more, or you may want to make X amount more. For instance, maybe $10 more an hour or an extra $10,000 this year or 50000 Get a clear idea of what you want and really dream about it. Think about it and own those words. If there's nervousness and tension in and around your thought pattern and you're asking for a million, maybe just ask for 50000 right now. And just feel yourself energetically happier which raises your vibration picture yourself receiving abundance 
which makes you feel good inside, raising your vibration. Notice what it would look like and feel like when you didn't have to worry. Maybe you actually feel better about yourself, which again raises your vibration. The more that we raise our vibration, the more that we can receive. And I want you to ask yourself, do you feel small in your own world or in this lifetime? If you think small and you feel small, you're going to receive small. So just take a deep breath and ask yourself, do I feel small in my life, in my relationship, my marriage, my office, my job, my body? Do I feel small? Can I change that? Can I actually see my truth, which is I am a big spirit and a human body? And a big spirit can hold on to create and manifest so much more than what a small person can manage. So now are you ready to see yourself as a big spirit in a human body in this lifetime that lives in a world and a universe of infinity? That alone will make you dream bigger and fuller with more creativity. This is the energy that you want to live in so you can manifest your true dreams. I did a class a while back and I realized that I was living small. And just that shift of, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore. I am a big spirit. I do deserve greatness. I actually doubled my income within a week and a half. I had to step outside of my comfort zone, my box, my limited belief system. Maybe what my upbringing has shown me. And I released all that and I created the story and the outcome that I want. So go ahead and just smile at yourself. Why not? You smile at everybody else. See yourself as this blessed big spirit in a human body. And that the universe is infinity. It's almost like looking outside in the most beautiful evening ever. And a million stars are all over. Just get to that point of greatness. Get excited about you. Get excited about possibly the job that you don't like. But if you show up small, it's not going to get any better. I do a lot of coaching and I tell them until you feel good in your job, you're probably not hireable for another job. So do better in life. Do better with your family. In the business, in the profession that you are in. Do better about yourself. Your body's image. Clean yourself up energetically, emotionally and physically. Incorporate a lot of what I said today will get you inspired to want more. And when you're inspired to want more, you have more energy to work for yourself. And that's where I want you to be. I always find it fascinating that a traditional person may work Monday through Friday, typical 9 to 5 job, and they work and they work and they work. And then they clock out in the evenings possibly and then they clock out on the weekends and then they sit and do nothing or at least they traditionally don't work for themselves so now look at your life and see your normal schedule and if you work Monday through Friday and then you clock out and veg go void 
and not push yourself as an individual for yourself, then maybe that's a step that you need to do. On weekends, I want you to focus on bettering yourself each and every weekend. You worked hard during the week. I acknowledge that. And on Saturday and on Sundays or your day offs, I want you to work hard for yourself. Keep me posted on all the uh, shifts and changes that you're going to achieve and notice. I'm at HealingBodiesHealingSouls.com. Again, this is Diane Gazine. And I'm excited to tell you in one month's time from today, probably mid-July of 2015, I will be coming out with a book. So you'll be able to listen to me, and you'll actually be able to read about the stuff that I do. Look forward to hearing from you. Have a blessed day as you should. Thank you. Namaste.